So what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome aboard the Africa Twin once again. I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. Right, today I'm going up to a shop called Get Geared. It's a, a shop quite near me. Well, it's not on my doorstep, but it is quite near me. Uh, shall I turn right here? No. Yes, no. No, can't be asked. Shall I? I don't know. No, I'm going to go straight on. I'm in this lane now. They did supply me with these gloves for last year's SCMM 2017. This is not a promotional video, by the way. I did pay for them, but I said I'd give them a shout out last year. I forgot to do that on YouTube. I just remembered as I was saying it as I'm going to the shop. I did give them a shout out on Instagram, but I forgot on YouTube. So get geared. This is to you. And I'm now coming up to your shop now to find a pair of jeans. I need a new pair of jeans. These ones are far too baggy. I've lost nearly three stones since I've been ill, so these ones are flapping in the wind. It's kind of like all over flares. If I was to fall off the bike, the armor would probably spin round and be on the back of my leg rather than protecting where it's supposed to protect. So I'm going to get a new pair of jeans before I go away. This is probably the last chance I've got to go out shopping before I go on my vacation, my road trip. I can feel a slight wobble through the bars and I know why that is. It's because I've got full luggage on. I've got all the panniers on. I've got the two rear panniers and the back box on. And this is because the, the bike is going into storage at the weekend in about four days time. I'm moving house and I'm moving house while I'm going to be in America it seems. It seems the 7th of August or that week or thereabouts will be the week that I'm moving. Now I'm flying out on the 4th and I get back on the 16th which means I don't get to do the moving thing. I mean it's good and it's bad. The bad side is I don't get to share that excitement with the family. I don't get that first takeaway meal in the house because we've got a tradition. I mean, that sounds bad in itself because we are kind of serial movers, it seems. Because we get that meal from the local takeaway and we share it around a few cardboard boxes sitting on the floor usually and talk about the excitement of being in the new house. So I'm not going to get to share that with the family this year. but. Don't feel too bad for me, please, please do not feel too bad for me because while they're shifting boxes, while they're loading one lorry to the other lorry and uh, they're taking all the stuff out and putting it into the new house and they've got all the stresses of the moving, the exchanging of the contracts and the keys on the day, I'm going to be in California. <laughs> I'll either be sitting by the pool, sipping a beer, I'll be in a bar sipping a beer, or I'll be riding the bike in the sunshine with my boys, my girls over in Cali and SoCal, or just riding around on my own in the mountains or down the coast. So it's not all bad for me. I'm kind of going to enjoy the move, but just from a different angle, that's all. But as I said, today's task is to get some jeans to get me looking for the trip ahead. I need those kind of jeans that look good both on and off the bike. They need to look as close to a normal pair of jeans as possible while still giving protection because they've got to fulfill two roles when I'm away. They're going to be my only jeans that I take. I'm only taking my motorcycle jeans as a long pair of trousers. The rest is going to be shorts because the temperature is going to be warm so I don't need jeans or trousers but I'm taking them just in case I need to go somewhere where they require long trousers. I have really come the complete and utter wrong way but seeing as we are up this way I'm going to take the scenic route. have to be a little bit careful up here this is the only place I've ever got points on my motorcycle up here I don't know whether they still live there but up here on the right is a judge's house and he used to on a Sunday make the police stand on this corner with a laser gun and uh, I got caught coming up here uh, slightly over the speed limit on the back wheel and I had to go to court to fight it because it was six points on my license at the time so I thought I'll go to court see what happens so I actually told the, I keep saluting at other riders. I need to start nodding again. I don't know why I'm saluting. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, I told the judge, because I was representing myself, that I got into a tank slapper when I came out of the bend. So I said I accelerated through it and the front wheel happened to come up. And uh, I got out of it and came down. So my choices were accelerate and speed 
or have a tank slapper and crash. So he agreed with me, luckily he was a biker and he knew exactly what a tank slapper was, so he agreed with me that that was uh, the best thing to do to get out of the tank slapper. However, I was still breaking the law, I've got no problem with that, so we dipped the points from six and I ended up with three. I felt quite good after that. <laughs> Right, I have come the long way round. I'm going to go via Box Hill to the shop. I mean, this is a much nicer road than going the way I was going to go. So uh, please enjoy the scenery. Just leave any comments or questions in the comments box below. I'll always get back to decent uh, questions and comments and uh, try and get through to you and have a little bit of a conversation with you guys. Right, now the road I'll take in a minute is all dictated by where this car goes. If he goes straight, I go left. If he goes left, I go straight. I go straight. Have to remember, I've got full luggage. Roads are so narrow. <laughs> They're too narrow for this thing with luggage. Look to the lens and it seems to be fogging up. This cheap case fogs up all the time. It's July. I wouldn't expect it to fog up in July, but it is. So I'm going to have to find my old case, my old GoPro one that I've cut to bits. If I can't, I'm going to have to make a new one because I can't keep having it fogged up. All right, it looks romantic, <laughs> but I prefer a crisper image. So here we are, we've arrived. So let's see what type of jeans they have. Good. Unfortunately, no luck for me. They all seem to be skinny jeans. I don't think they're meant to be skinny jeans. I've just got quite big thighs and calves. So now my waist has got thinner. I need to find a loose fit, like a baggy pair. But unfortunately, 
they didn't have a baggy pair for me so plan b back to another shop which is actually closer to me called jns where i've got these jeans from so let's try that one So here we are, JNS in New Malden, Plan B. This is actually the nearer shop to me. Should have come here first, saved some petrol, but at least I got some good riding in, so that's the main thing. So there you go, success! I managed to find a pair of jeans, which is funny enough, exactly the same pair of these, but a size smaller. So the waist fits, the legs are still a little bit baggy, but these are baggy fit. All the rest at the moment seem to be the fashion of having skinny legs, and uh, as I said before, my calves and my thighs don't fit in skinny jeans, so that's a no-no, especially on a bike. If you're climbing on and off a bike, you do not want skin-tight jeans because you can't get your leg over, as they say. But we've got success now, and we now have a new pair of jeans, so I'm happy and can head home. So that brings this video to an end, so thank you very much for watching once again. I do appreciate it. I love you all. Stay safe, fish out. Ha 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 ha